To begin, you must read and understand the problem. This is another question that asks you to consider the energy levels of the hydrogen atom. Specifically, it asks you to determine the energy change for transition A, that is, the difference in energy between the initial state and the final state. Next, plan. We can use the equation E equals negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules times 1 over n final squared minus 1 over n initial squared to find the change in energy. Then the only thing left is to remember that you are asked to express your answer in kilojoules per mole. So you'll need to convert from joules to kilojoules and from molecules to moles using Avogadro's number. To solve the problem, simply substitute 2 in for the n initial and 5 for n final. That becomes energy equals negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules times 1 over 25 minus 1 over 4, which equals 4.5 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, or 4.5 times 10 to the negative 22 kilojoules. Finally, convert from energy required for one molecule to make the transition to energy required for a whole mole of molecules to make the transition. 4.58 times 10 to the negative 22 kilojoules times Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 moles to the negative 1. This gives us an answer of 276 kilojoules per mole. Before you move on, check that your answer seems reasonable and that you have the correct number of sig figs. Well, three sig figs is correct. And as far as the answer being reasonable, here are some things to check. The transition was from a lower energy state to a higher energy state so we'd expect the energy change to be positive. It is. Also, the energy value in joules is larger than the energy value in kilojoules, and the energy value per mole is larger than the energy value per molecule. All of this makes sense, so we're done.